Hey y'all, how's it going? I am Joy. We are back once again with our NFL predictions versus with Steve. Hey Joy, how's it going? Not too bad. I'm excited for this week after the way that last week went. Uh, this Hello. is week four. Mm -hmm. uh, week three was full of so, upsets. Up. Well, we can sum it up in one word for us. Phew. <laughs> yeah. Phew. For me, it was uh, more of a relief because my like my big risk actually paid off and I was to the moon. Yeah. Excited over uh, that. Yeah. You beat me uh in our two uh split games there, so Yep, I lost uh the split with John and I I believe you on the Giants and Falcons. You went Falcons as well? Uh or did you take the yeah. Giants? Uh actually I took the Giants. Okay. Alright, so that was uh that was John's solo split so yeah. you're welcome john because <laughs> yeah. i was i was i was gonna go with atlanta but i decided to be nice and i took the giants and uh yeah we we all know how that went so um, that'll probably be my regret of the week once we get into it to be honest because i i had it and i just decided not to but true. all right so my record last week was a 13 and 3 Mm -hmm. And uh, mine was uh, eleven and five. Yep. Uh, John, I believe, said that he went twelve and four. So our standings okay. at the beginning of week four are as followed: I am thirty-three and fifteen. John is twenty-nine, nineteen, and then uh, Steve here is twenty-eight and twenty. So it's a very close matchup still. Mm -hmm. Tight race. Very. I'm, I'm only up by four. This is still scary to me. Because like, I, I have a lead, but I don't have a big enough lead to feel super comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I, I still feel pressure to continue. Things can turn around in the next then when you least expect it. Yeah, especially with this week, because there's some games in here that are just like, grr, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. So, what's your regret of the week four, week three? Uh, obviously, they're... Uh, going with the Steelers over over the Bengals there, because uh, I did not know about uh, Pittsburgh's uh, big injuries to, like, uh, T.J. Watt and a couple of their offensive players there, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I can get that. Um, that was the only reason that I was okay taking the upset, was because I, I checked the injury report ahead of time, because I heard that uh, T.J. Watt was uh, injured, but I didn't know if he was going to play or questionable or what, so I actually read it up. And they had a lot of people who were going to be um, limpy, I guess is a better way to put it. So they wouldn't be playing 100% regardless. Um, yeah. Mine, if I had to pick one, would probably be the, the Falcons, because I didn't fall for the trap because I didn't want both John and I to lose that pick. Okay. So I I took a shot on the Giants because I just, I can't, I can't trust the Falcons like ever. You know, so that would that would be my one regret is not trusting them when I should have. Yeah, I'm sure sure John John be laughing at you for it. <laughs> he actually uh, thanked me. He he said thanks for the assist. So I was like, you're, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> he, he needed he needed a good split game, so I I gave yeah. him that. But if I had to do a regret, it would be the fact that I'm too nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, if you're ready, we can dive okay. on into week four. Let's do it. All right. So scrolling back up, long list of teams. All right. Uh, first up on Thursday Night Football, we have the Jaguars going to Cincinnati in a battle of the cats. True. And it's also the battle of the number one pick picks in the past couple of years. It is. It the, is. Burrow versus Burrow Lawrence. Versus Yep. Yeah. So, which QB do we think is better? I don't really think this is a a hard game to pick, but true, true. Uh, obviously, uh, Trevor Lawrence doesn't have the weapons there. Not even at though, all. Uh, even though the their kick, kick returner uh, last week there uh, 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 caught a field goal attempt and uh, turned into a hundred yard run there for a touchdown. Yeah. In the half. Yeah, that was impressive. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the kickers last week 
were insane, and I remember how I was supposed to start this video now, and I'm mad that I didn't remember it at the time. Yeah. So the, the, yeah. the moment has passed, unfortunately yeah. for me. Sure. I, will, I will slap myself later for it, because I had a plan, and then I just completely forgot about yeah. it. Yeah, it's like the old saying, plans can change in a minute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Much upset. Well, uh, well obviously, uh, I, I, I'm going to predict uh, Joe Burrow this week will be a better quarterback than Trevor Lawrence, and uh, take the Bengals to win. Yeah, uh, 100%. After going into uh, Pittsburgh, I had to look at my sheet and make sure it was actually uh, a road game. After going into Pittsburgh and kind of handing them themselves, to put it mildly, uh, I have to go with Cincinnati on that one. There, it's no, there, there's no competition in that. Yeah, true. So there was a long conversation for a very simple game. Yeah. Uh, this one, I, I'm curious to see what you're gonna say about this because John and I discussed it earlier. We have uh, Washington going to the Falcons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, obviously, uh, obviously, Falcons uh, escaped uh, New York there by the skin of their teeth there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Washington they got got slaughtered by by Buffalo Bills there. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there is a big difference between New York and Buffalo, which is hilarious to say. <laughs> out, out out of context that's hilarious to say yeah. but th there's a big difference between the giants and the bills so true, true. putting up 21 on buffalo's defense yeah. that's not bad yeah true there yeah yeah and uh i'm i'm gonna go go with uh Atlanta this week because uh washington has no offense and no defense there and uh i'm sure john john will be Happy to agree with me about Atlanta winning this week. Wow. No, no actually, we, we both took uh, Washington on this one. Whoa. Yeah. So this Shocker. is this is going to be an interesting split game. I, I have to tell him. Uh oh. <laughs> All this right. You're going to be upset. <laughs> it's it's really surprising because we uh we were talking about it and I was like, what are the odds that Steve actually takes Atlanta in this one? <laughs> and he actually said minimal. So <laughs> good on you. <laughs> worth the risk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely worth the risk. Uh, it's time to start making some moves. So, we definitely split on that. Uh, I took Washington because I do trust uh, their defense a lot more yeah. than I trust Atlanta with anything, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And you think uh, Taylor Heinke is going to be the better quarterback this week? I, I don't think that he's better than Matt Ryan, but I trust that team composition a lot more than I do. And I, I, I like Taylor Heineke, Heineken, fella. Mm -hmm. I I like him, so I, I would like to see him have some success uh, for the second year that he's been there. Okay. So we shall see. We are either going to look very stupid, or <laughs> we're going to make some, some headway here. Yeah. Alright, uh, next up, speaking of Buffalo, it's Texans and Bills. Yeah, this it, one's going to obviously be yeah, a no brainer. Bob, let's just get rid of Houston right now. Josh Allen's gonna slaughter them. Yeah, like it's Washington. Yeah, it's 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 not a good schedule for Houston. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm -hmm. So we we agreed quickly on that one. That was the first game that I picked. Yeah. I mean, I did Bengals and then Bills. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I'm scared about this one as well because I still think we're gonna split. But maybe mm -hmm. you'll surprise me like you did with Washington. <laughs> Yeah. So we have the Lions, <laughs> delay of game, uh -huh. going to Chicago, yeah. and whatever uh -huh. quarterback they decide to start this week. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping they start start Justin Fields if that's the case for the Bears. I, there. I I hope that they do, but I heard that they're gonna like run with all three of them and just see what happens and yeah. the fact the, the the falls factor is what scares me because he's yeah, exactly. he's a very good qb and if we don't know who to prepare for 
-hmm. it makes it a lot more difficult and the foals could definitely be a factor in this so I, I would be concerned but considering how Detroit played not only all three weeks but especially last week yeah I am hopeful yeah, because uh, Detroit uh, lost a close one to uh, Baltimore. Oh, there. I'm so mad. I... We'll, discuss, we'll be discussing that later. There. Oh, thank you for pulling me off that ledge. I'm so upset. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's talk about it later. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and... Uh, and... Uh, so uh, this week I I'm going I'm going to assume uh, Justin Fields starts for the Bears there and uh, they'll uh, they'll probably probably beat beat the Lions by the skin of their teeth. All right, so you're taking Chicago. Yep. All right, I am taking Detroit. It's the first game of the season that I can feel comfortable in taking them to win. Okay. Um, they're angry. No. As as are the fans. Mm -hmm. about what happened and they're not going to let that happen again at least sure. not in in such a way yeah so i'm i'm putting all of my faith and my trust in detroit this week okay. and uh maybe Wait, they'll huh? be my regret but i doubt it okay all right so we split a game yeah i expected That's... to split on this one though we yeah. uh, we both did because we, we've uh we figured that you would be in field's corner on this one so I, I hope yeah. that Fields does start because I like Fields, but yeah. I, I gotta go Lions. Okay, make sense. Yep. All right, and then we have Carolina at Dallas. Almost clicked the wrong game. True. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, Dallas uh, made a huge statement on Monday. They're uh, yeah. beating the Eagles there. They, they did again. It, it was just the Eagles, so it's not like a huge deal. But yeah. to 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 beat them by twenty, oof. Yeah. And they're yeah. continuing their homestand, so it's even better. Yeah, and obviously, uh, Carolina's going to be missing uh, Christian McCaffrey there. Yeah, that's the unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It was costly win win for them uh, against uh, the Texans last week. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think I'm going to go with the Cowboys this week there, and. Uh, They'll continue the momentum they did did against the Eagles there to uh, beat, and they'll beat the Panthers. Yeah, I I agree, but mainly just because the Panthers are the walking wounded here. W without yeah. that run game, mm -hmm. I I don't know how well Darnold is going to be able to handle himself only in the air. I think that's a lot of pressure, and I don't know if he has the weapons to help him out with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely taking Dallas on that one, and what I want to say is a no-brainer, but for what it's worth, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. We shall see. Alright, next up, I want to save this game for last, mm -hmm. but I can't because it's in the schedule. We have okay. Indianapolis going to Miami. Whoa. This That's game awesome. was the hardest one to pick. I, I picked it last because I just I, yeah. I couldn't decide. Yeah, but first of all, Miami made it close against uh, Vegas there. They did, which, yeah, no, to be fair, game. is what swayed my decision. Yeah, and uh, and the Colts there, uh, obviously, uh, there's questions with uh, the quarterback there, uh, Carson Wentz there. Yeah, I, I believe he's still hurt. Yeah, I, I believe he's still hurt, and I don't remember the guy that is backing him up. I, I've seen his name, but I don't remember. It starts with a C. Yeah, and obviously um, Miami's uh, bearing uh, Jacoby Brissett there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So uh, this one's going to be close. It might be come down to a field goal or less there. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to take a risk on this one. Uh, and I'll take the Colts to uh, beat the Dolphins. Okay, we split again. <laughs> I, hey. I We have so many splits this week. I'm so scared. Oh, no my lead but um i'm going with miami because i don't know the situation with uh indianapolis and i like the story of jacoby Brissett beating his former team yeah. I, I really like how that's kind of shaping up and the fact that they're at home mm -hmm. it's kind of it, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable 
Yeah. Um, plus, they were very close to beating uh, Vegas. So, I mean, they, they took them into overtime yeah. and then only lost by three. Yeah. So, I, I, was, I think it's going to be a very low-scoring affair. But I'm playing for the split on this one in particular and right. taking Miami. Yeah. But I do hope that the Colts can pull it off because I do like that team. Okay. Alright, next up, if if they don't win this one, I am going to be very upset. We have uh, the Browns at Minnesota. Okay, this one there, yeah. I, I dislike. Yeah, obviously <laughs> you hate the Vikings because uh, Kirk Cousins there. I, I don't like Kirk Cousins. I, I've never liked Kirk Cousins. I didn't like him in Washington. True there. I've, I've just I, never liked him. Yeah, And I hate hated him for... Uh, for being Russell Wilson the Seahawks there. That was unfortunate. It was it was hard to watch. Um, I was yeah. getting because because John is a Seahawks fan, and we were discussing the game, and he was uh, he was unhappy to to say the yeah. least. Yeah. So uh, that was that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. And uh, obviously the Browns there uh, huge huge win there there uh, last week there uh, but. But it was against against uh, whether they're Chicago. Against, uh, Chicago, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. That that was a fun game to watch. Seeing Miles Garrett just destroy mm -hmm. that offense was a thing of beauty. True. So uh, I'm I'm gonna ride the wave of momentum there and uh, go with the Browns to uh, beat the Vikings. Yeah, I agree. And if for some reason they can't handle Minnesota, mm -hmm. I am going to be. I just I I don't even know. It's mm -hmm. I don't usually like going with Cleveland for obvious mentioned reasons, but I do kind of like the team overall. Yeah. So I, I hope the best for them. Yeah. Oh, bargain. Yeah. And if. Uh... If uh, Cleveland loses, that'll be my my regret for next week. Yeah, because I mean, I think it'll be closer than it should be, and that's what scares me. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, and another one that might actually be kind of close. I don't think so, but stranger things have happened. We have the Giants going to New Orleans. Yeah, to me, this game is no doubter there. Right yeah. after uh, James Winston uh, and Jason Hill, there. Uh, uh, beat the Patriots there. Slapped New England. Absolutely slapped New England. Yeah, true. And uh, the Giants there obviously uh, lost a close one to the Falcons there. And yeah. John, John probably explained it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both. Uh, and then uh, Laura, my uh, old bestie from the uh, Pogo and Pool days. Yeah. Uh, she's a Giants fan, and she said that both of our teams lost by a last-second field goal, and we were both sad about it. And it's yeah. like, you two. Yeah. 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 It was it was a heartbreaker. Yeah. And, uh, uh, obviously, I'm going with a no doubter. That's one there. Uh, it's going to be the first game for the Saints, by the way, at home home there since the yeah since the hurricane there so, so. it's it, this is a really good team to be facing for your first yeah. home stand technically yeah yeah be a real momentum for them there yeah. uh, that's why obviously i'm going to pick the saints over the giants yep i 100 percent agree Jameis, show the haters wrong mm -hmm. and then speaking of no doubters we have uh titans at the jets yeah. Seth's so just, shall we, uh, yeah. Shall we just skip the details? And yeah. Say, say, like, win? Yeah. I just yeah. Tennessee. Uh, next yeah. up, <laughs> we have the Chiefs at the Eagles. Okay. The you know the Chiefs there uh, obviously uh, Patrick Mahomes coming off a real shocking loss to uh, the Chargers uh, of, of all teams there. I see. I don't. I don't think that it's that shocking because the, the Chargers are legit they're a legitimate team and it's high time that that division and the rest of the league actually took them seriously because they, they have been contenders for the past what two years now yeah last well, last year just... last year they surprised surprised some people with Justin Herbert and then last week slapping around Kansas City 
Yeah. They they just made people stand up and take notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I think uh, Mahomes and the the team uh, will turn around there. Hopefully, uh, Andy Reid will be back on the sidelines after his uh, medical scare. Yeah, yeah. I uh, hope he's okay. Completely, uh, completely okay. I think he just got overwhelmed with the uh, emotion of the loss and all that, and you know, man, man of his uh, age and stature. Yeah, it was it was a little bit of overstimulant, but I yeah. I agree. I think that Kansas City is going to be upset with the loss and, yeah. and want to prove something, so they're going to go yeah. into Philly and uh, yeah. make some make noise. A make a statement there. Yeah, make a statement, make some noise for sure. Yeah, and I yeah. feel bad for Philly. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, we have an NFC West battle with the Cardinals going to the Rams. Oh, that that's one the uh, two good quarterbacks in this one, Matt Stafford and uh, Kyle Murray. Eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, the the Rams made the bigger statement there uh, yes. by being the uh, Brady there. Game of the week, which we all knew it was going to be game of the week, but I'm, yeah. I'm happy to see that they uh, beat them down as bad yeah. as they did. Mm -hmm. True. It uh, it did the heart good to see Stafford do as well as he did. Yeah, true. There. Yeah. And the question is, uh, can the can the can the, the Cardinals offense? Uh, handle the Rams defense there I, I I don't know that's my thing like if you're able to contain the Bucks offense as well as you were mm -hmm. I I don't know if Arizona's offense is going to be high powered enough to handle I think that their defense is high powered enough to handle Stafford and his weapons but I think it's going to sure. be a defensive battle and I would go with the Rams defense and Aaron Donald over yeah. almost anybody else in the league right now. Agree there. Uh, so obviously, uh, I'm going to go with the Rams to uh, pull this one out of the fire over the Cardinals. Yeah, I, I think it'll be close. I think uh, JJ Watt is going to make himself known, uh -huh. but I do think that the Rams are going to take this one. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. Anyway. Here's hoping. Yeah. All right, and we are staying in the NFC West with Seattle going to San Francisco. Yeah. This one hurt to pick. Yeah. Obviously, they're uh, Seattle at the, coming off a huge loss to the Vikings there. A, a, a shocking loss. Yeah, true. And the Niners there uh, almost uh, came back and and one Sunday night against the uh, Packers there. And, uh, oh, that was so close. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I think uh, this week, I think uh, I think uh, Garoppolo and uh, Lance there uh, will, will, uh, will uh, be a rotation. There are QBs uh, that will do great there, and uh, they're going to be, be Seattle, so my pick is the Niners. Yeah, unfortunately, I agree, and I'm splitting – with uh, with John on this one, but now personally, I I dislike the um, tandem QBs. Uh, pr pretty much a across the league, I'm seeing that kind of happen in more than just San Francisco, but it it seems to work for them, and it's it's honestly better for Trey Lance, and maybe this is something that Chicago should have been doing all along, uh -huh. but they're not, and they just decided to throw Fields to the Wolves, as it were. Yeah. Um, I don't think. In the pool. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they should have done that, but <laughs> it's the Bears. So what do you do? But yeah. I'm I'm gonna unfortunately go with the 49ers in this one. I think the Seattle would be able to rebound, but the fact that they're still on the road True. is gonna hurt them a little bit. And San Francisco was very close at home against yeah. a very good Green Bay team. So I have to stick with the home team. When in doubt, go home. Mm -hmm. exactly. And if it don't work, uh, that that'll be another regret there. Yeah, yeah. If 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 this one goes Seattle's way, then I will definitely have that be my regret because I I believe in that team and I know what they can do, but yeah. I'm I'm trusting the home. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Um, delay of game versus the Denver Broncos. Yeah. I uh, I mean the Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos. My bad. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> uh, Baltimore uh, at their 66 yard yard field goal to win it there for uh, Justin Tucker. There, man. But that, I already saw saw the Twitter saying uh, put his leg in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um. It, look, I, I I like Justin Tucker, and I, I've always liked him as a kicker. He's very steady. He's very consistent. One of my favorite kickers of all time. Mm-hmm. I'm just a little bit bitter. Yeah, obviously because the because of the the refs uh, blew the call call for the Lions there. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, and it's not the first time that this kind of thing has has happened. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not going to go into it because I don't need people in the comments to be all like, oh, you're you're just a fan girl or you're you're just supporting the home team for that sake. But if if you if you look it up on Twitter, there's entire accounts dedicated to all of the misdeeds. Yeah. So I'm not going to get into it, but um. And shockingly, uh, the Broncos are three and zero there, but uh, they they, they face no competition. All, all their wins there were against weak teams anyway. Exactly. So this is the first actual challenge, and I don't think that they're going to stand up to it. No. So obviously, uh, we're both going to go Ra- Ravens this game. Yeah, as much as it hurts me to, I'm, I'm taking Baltimore. Um, they're they're a good team, and I think Justin Tucker's going to come in clutch again. All right, speaking of teams that make me triggered, we have uh, the Steelers and the Packers yeah. in Green Bay. Yeah, obviously some, something's really wrong with the Steelers there. Besides uh, injuries? Uh, yeah, injuries there and uh, probably coaching there and uh, no weapons for uh, Big Ben there. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like um, Mike Tomlin is on the hot seat every year. And it seems really weird. Yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, who you got for this one in particular? I'm pretty sure uh, that obviously. the Steelers are still hurt, so I'm gonna guess this is a no-brainer. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, uh, I'm gonna go Aaron Rodgers there because uh, he proved the point there last week against uh, not the Niners there, and uh, I think he's gonna going to prove another statement to uh, the fans at Lambeau Field there because uh, uh, he wa- wants them to show their, uh, that uh, he, he, he's worth, worth the money there and, uh, and, if, uh, and if the fans don't like it there uh, he'll, he'll be moved he wants to move out of there he wants out regardless so this is yeah. more than likely his last season uh regardless of if they make the playoffs, make the Super Bowl, or what have you. But um, I'm going with Green Bay as well. They're at home, they're riding momentum, and Pittsburgh is the walking wounded. So I'm not going to say they have no chance because they, you know, any given Sunday, but it's definitely uh, the Packers game to lose. Yeah. All right, the one for sheer story aspect that is more than likely game of the week for that reason. We have Tampa Bay... And Tom Brady visiting New England and going back home. Uh, obviously, Brady, Brady, Brady wants to prove to uh, Belichick and all, all his uh, former team, teammates in New Eng- England there uh, that they that uh, he's better than them. <laughs> Isn't that always his motivation? True. Like that—that that always seems to be his uh, his driving force. But I I, I agree, and I it's. I feel so bad for New England this week. Mm-hmm. It's just, I mean, not only did they come off of a fairly big beatdown by New Orleans at home, but yeah. Brady is now upset with how he lost. And he he plays his best when he's an angry Karen. True. So, and then you add to that the motivation of just going home and beating up on Bill Belichick. 
There, there's, there's no way. Yeah. So, uh, so I think uh, this week there, uh, I'm going to go with uh, the bots there. Uh, uh, Ray, Ray, Ray really wants to win this game there. Yeah, he's he's the most motivated that he's probably been since he left. So, 100% taking Tampa. Yeah. And of course, it's a Sunday night game, so I guess he's going to have another late night. <laughs> Grr, I just want to sleep. Unless it's a blowout. If it's a blowout, I'm I'm good to go to bed. <laughs> Which you know one can hope. All right, uh, Monday night game is going to be a close one, I believe. When we have the Raiders going to the Chargers. Yeah, this one could be close. There, uh, obviously, uh, Carr and the Raiders there are are making a point of uh, contending in the the AFC West. There, heart of the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Uh, I was going to say there. Uh, this would be a perfect game for uh, to watch uh, the uh, Peyton Eli thing. But at, at the end of uh, last, last week's Monday night, there they they said that they're going to take a couple week hiatus there. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, I I, I like those two more, more Peyton than Eli, but yeah. still. Yeah, yeah, they won't be back for week seven. So that's sad. Yeah. Oh well. But uh, this one could be close there, uh, you know. And uh, Her Herbert and the Chargers there coming off a, a huge win against the the Chiefs there. Mm -hmm. so, so this one could be a field goal or less game there, in my opinion there. Yeah, I, I think it could be. The Raiders seem to like having games close. Yeah, true. Yeah. So uh, you know what? Uh, I think I'm gonna go go but. Uh, a little bit of an upset this week for that that game. I'm going to go the Raiders over over the Chargers. That's a respectable pick. Um, I'm taking the home team because when in doubt, you go home. Um, and I like Herbert. I like what he's doing. I like Derek Carr as well. And you know the whole heart of the car thing. I'm I'm still gonna always use that. But I think that the Chargers are looking to make a statement in the division after beating the Chiefs, beating the Raiders. Uh, this week would just p put an epic cap on their division rivalry blitz. So all they really need now is Denver, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So they can they can at least sweep early on when they beat Denver too, because I think that they'd be able to beat Denver as well. Sure. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take LA, yeah, San okay. Diego, if you will, so on this gone. one. Another split game. Another split game. I'm scared of all these darn splits. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting this. Really my, my, yeah, my, my lead is in danger. Yeah, true. I'm scared. But there we have it. Week four is in the books. Be sure to leave your picks down below. Your uh, feedback and what you think about uh, not only week three's action and your game of the week. But mm -hmm. also, uh, what you think is going to be the best game for week four. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate all your comments uh, below there. Yep, definitely. Uh, let us know basically what you think, I guess, in general, and what else you want to see going forward, because there's other prediction types of things you can see. There's other uh, collaborations that I have on the channel as well. The aforementioned uh, John from the Gamer Duo, who is uh, participating with us in the predictions versus he and i have a soul link which we will be recording later on tonight as well but uh that series is really fun and going very well so be sure to check him out i'm sure he'll be in the comments he always is mvp um yeah. make so. sure you leave a like and uh subscribe and subscribe to uh joy's channel there she'll, she'll appreciate you for that very much so thank you as always uh thank you for joining me again not a problem and we will catch you next time, hopefully, for week five of the NFL predictions versus. Yeah.